Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this short unboxing video. I haven't done an unboxing video in a while and boy is this a special one. What I've got in this box is so precious and I can't wait to show them to you. I've also got a bit of an update on my blackest black video as I have a new contender in here. So I hope that you enjoy this. I'm certainly going to enjoy unboxing these babies for you guys. And if you do enjoy this, then please do subscribe here on YouTube. Check out all of my other videos about soft pastel here. And also consider checking me out over on Patreon, where you'll get my full catalogue of real-time tutorials. Enjoy this. So I've been very lucky to be sent some Henri Rocher pastels from Paris to try. Uh, after I released my last video all about finding the blackest black pastel, where I compared lots of different pastel pencils, hard pastels and soft pastel sticks. And I really thought that I'd find the blackest black. But after I released that, I got a lovely message from the ladies at Henri Rocher in La Maison de Pastel suggesting that I try their black. So that's what they've sent me. Um, and let's see what else they've sent me in here. I'm dying to see. I've already had a peek, but I'm going to show you guys now. So let's just quickly do a little bit of an unveiling here and show you what I got in the post. And wow, did it feel like my birthday. I couldn't believe what they'd sent me with a lovely little note just saying they hoped that I enjoyed these. And I am pretty certain that I am going to enjoy what they've sent me. I've lusted after these pastels for a long time. And now I finally have a few of my own. So let's get rid of all of the packaging. And let's have a look at what they sent me. So I was expecting uh, their black and perhaps a white or two because the next video on my agenda is to make a good comparison of different whites on the market. So I want to find the best bright white in pastel. So that's what I was expecting and this is what they sent me. So it's their lovely little information card. And this is what they sent me. I was completely speechless when I opened the box. Absolute beauty in a box, so vibrant. What a beautiful selection. And they also sent along this beautiful blue violet. As I also mentioned that I would love to be able to compare some uh, colours specifically for painting bluebells. So I do intend to continue my comparison videos and search all of the different brands for certain uh, colours and really compare them all against each other. But this is what I got from Henri Rocher. Wow. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is do the black comparison just to set the record straight because as soon as I opened the box, I just knew to look at this black pastel. I knew right away that it was gonna, it was gonna win. I knew just to look at it. So this, I believe, is gonna be darker than what I thought was the darkest pastel I had found. And this is the hard pastel, Prismacolor's new pastel. And if you go and watch my Black is Black video, I compared this with lots of other blacks and it had been recommended to me so many times as being the darkest black available but I knew just from looking at the two of them in person that I had possibly had a new winner so let's first of all compare these and set the record straight so again it might be pretty hard to show you this on screen but let's just do a quick comparison so the one that came out tops my new pastel and to me this is an excellent black really dark it really did stand out from the crowd 
of all of the other pastels that I compared and I compared a lot of pastels. So moment of truth, let's try this Henri Rocher. It's number 9181 and this is the black that they are super proud of. And now having tried it myself, oh, I can see why, look at that. That is just crazy how dark that is. So I don't know if I can show you this on camera, but let's try and give you a little close up. And just turn it around to the light a little bit. Can you see the difference? Well, shockingly, most of the ones that were at the top of my list in my previous experiment, you could see a small difference between them, but this, this is a big difference. This is way blacker than my blackest black. So congratulations, Henri Rocher. You do have the blackest black, and I'm pretty certain this is the blackest black now. So let's tell you a little bit about these pastels if you haven't encountered them before, because even just their history alone is a little bit special. These pastels date back well before the late 1800s, with Henri Rocher himself becoming the head of La Maison de Pastel in 1878. They're known for having close relationships with many artists of the time, including Whistler in London, Degas, and I'm guessing that many of the pastel works that we see today in the museums were created with these pastels. Now that alone speaks to their quality and their longevity. They listened to the needs of these artists of the time in terms of what they wanted from a good pastel stick. And this led to a pastel range with a huge number of colours. I mean, now we're talking 1600 colours. That's just insane. And that included beautifully harmonious and luminous colours throughout their range. They also developed a pastel from the requests of these artists, which would adhere to a support without the need for fixative. So these pastels really are the birthplace of pastel as we know it today. And Rocher, now run by Isabel Rocher and Margaret Zayer, continue to work closely with artists to this day, supplying those extra special colours and their extra special quality. So it's Isabel and Margaret who I have to thank for this extra special collection. And I promise I will not just sit and stare at them, I will use them, I will put them to good use, hopefully, in my future paintings. But if you'd like to learn more about the history of this pastel brand, then I highly recommend visiting their website. I'll add a link here and also in the description below this video. It's really fascinating just seeing where pastel really came from as a medium and how this pastel brand has survived many tests over the years. So do go and read up more about them as I don't want this to turn into a history lesson. I really want to get my mitts on these pastels and try them out. So let's do that now. I'll grab some paper and we'll test out the colours that they've sent me. So what I'm normally looking for in a soft pastel is something that will be soft enough to apply lots of pigment on the paper and get it really solid and vibrant, but also not so soft that it crumbles between my fingers and turns to dust very easily. So my normal go-to pastel is the unison sticks as they answer that question for me in terms of their texture and I love their color range as well. So what I'm gonna do with these is just quickly put a little dollop of each color on the paper because I'm dying to see what they look like actually applied to the paper and to get a, a feel for their texture, how soft or hard they are. So yeah, let's add some color to the paper. So I've already put the black down, but I'm so impressed with it that I'm going to put another one down. This is definitely going to be used when I need something exceptionally black. As I said, I'm going to do a white video next, just testing out different brands, searching for something that gives a really good bright white. So I will compare this in the mix as well. At least this time I will have some Rocher pastel to compare. 
but so far I'm really liking the texture of these and it applies just so solidly so really good really nice texture and what I'm going to do once I've applied all of the Rocher samples I'm going to take a few similar colors from different brands that I also have and just do a little bit of a comparison to see how solid the pigment looks on the paper and yeah although these are really soft I can tell that they would take a little bit of abuse I can tell that you could break it in half I'm pretty sure that it would withstand breaking it in half um, unlike some of the other pastel brands that I find a little bit too soft for my liking. I really, although I paint with a soft touch a lot of the time, sometimes when I want to apply a really solid, vibrant bit of colour, I want that pastel to be able to take a bit of abuse, me to lean harder with it without it breaking and crumbling. And these seem like just that texture where lots of lovely pigment comes off onto the paper but I don't feel like they, that they're about to crumble between my fingertips and this one wow it's so solid even when you blend it in really beautiful quality and this <laughs> wow I will show you some close-ups afterwards because I know it's hard to get the full effect of this on camera but it's just unbelievable how bright some of these vibrant ones are and then we've got these three special ones at the end as these are really luminous so I can imagine if I were painting a butterfly or some kind of flower that has a real sheen to it or something metal for example with these metallic ones this could provide that extra special bit of highlight giving real sheen to whatever it is I'm painting So yeah, really nice solid colour, covers in the green of the paper, beautiful soft texture but as I said not so soft that it goes completely out of control. And let's see if we can get these luminous ones to show up. It's tricky, let's see if we can bring some light down on top of it, hmm, difficult but can you see? the sparkle of those three really beautiful so let's compare a few of these with my existing brands that I use and just see how they compare so the first one I wanted to compare was this really dark uh, sort of a black brown really really dark color here and a brand that I often turn to for my darks is Terry Ludwig. You can see that this little Terry Ludwig stick has been used a lot, but they are great when you want something that's really super dark with a heavy amount of pigment in it. So that's actually really similar, really similar. And the Terry Ludwig darks, um, they usually make my fingers more dirty than anything else that I use because they're so heavily pigmented. So yeah, they, they do, in my mind, some of the best dark colors, but this actually applies very similarly to the Terry Ludwig, so that's really nice. So next we've got a slightly harder pastel here with a dealer Rowney. Not quite the same color probably as this lovely green, but just in terms of coverage, I thought it would be interesting to see how these apply in comparison. So yeah, these are a little bit harder so the, um, the Rochers are definitely nice and soft. I do like the softer end of the range. And the Dealer Rowney's always impress me anyway. Um, 
but yeah not quite as good coverage really I think as the Rocher goes on really solid uh, next we have a uh, Schminky just to compare some of the lovely lilac colors and I think this is going to be much darker really when I think about it much darker than this lovely lilac so the Schminkies tend to be a little bit softer than I like these and the Sennelier are sometimes a little bit too soft for me um, you can see that when this one has been broken in half it's quite crumbly so we get a little bit of um, pastel dust out the other side of it so I normally keep the papers on any of these um, bit scared to take the papers off in case they break up too much but they do go on to the paper lovely really solid color you get from these as well but I do prefer how the rochers hold together they're not quite as soft as this so let's just lastly have a comparison between this incredibly vibrant orange and possibly my most vibrant uh, unison orange so just out of interest to see how those compare and it's a slightly different tone of orange but very similar actually so yeah those are both pretty cool and as I've mentioned the unisons are my go-to pastel most of the time they're what I have in my collection the most of and I do like the texture of them how buttery and soft they are but how you can break them up and use them in their smaller pieces and that's exactly what I feel is possible with the Roches so I am definitely a fan a new fan of the Roches so here's the only catch these are definitely the most expensive pastel on the market coming in at 20 euros per stick but when you go and look at their history where they've come from the color range that they have just an enormous amount of colors and beautiful uh, color harmony running throughout their whole collection that combined with their longevity their light fastness the texture of them i do think that they're worth it so if you have a giant budget i definitely recommend them even just to have a couple of these in your collection is quite the special treat and I will continue to include these lovely pastels in all of my future comparison videos where I'm trying to find the best version of certain colors and hopefully that will point you towards where it's really worth splurging that little bit extra on one very special color. From this video I would have to say if you're really looking for the blackest black in existence it's got to be the Henri Rocher black. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing these absolutely beautiful pastels being unboxed and tested. And a huge thank you to both Isabel and Margaret at La Maison de Pastel for giving me the opportunity to try these. And I promise that I will do my best to put them to good use. So do check out my other unboxing videos. I also encourage you to go and check out my blackest black video. I will get to work right away on the brightest white video, which is coming up as my next comparison. And I hope that you will stick around on my YouTube channel as I intend to release lots more of this type of video showing you the comparison between lots of different brands. But please do show me some support here and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, do check me out over on my Patreon channel if you would like to learn how to put your soft pastels to good use. I have lots of tutorials over there which are really in-depth, showing you the colour codes as I'm using particular colours, fully narrated, giving you lots of tips and advice. But thanks again for watching this and until next time, Happy pastling.